They're quite long nozzles, Janet. Is that designed through trial and error to have the points quite long? Um, well, I, I'm inspired by this homemade trailer of Mary Bondrush in England. And um, this is her invention. I think the length of the nozzle sort of slows the flow so that you can, it, it's more controllable. You can have the slip quite liquid can still control it. And of course the most famous um, slip trailing was Thomas Toft, wasn't it, in the 17th century in, yes. in England, who certainly inspired many a potter. But I'm, I may add that Janet is the only one in Western Australia who actually works in slip trailing, and so it's lovely to see her in action. Yes. No one, no one has ever surpassed Thomas Toft. I think he invented the ceremonial plate. His plates are, oh, 22 inches across. I don't know what that is in centimetres, but they are big. And if he does a, a circle all the way round, um, he's amazingly done it by hand. He hasn't put it on a wheel, but he did amazing ones with coats of arms and a tremendous heraldic lion, devoted monarchies, picture of um, the young, well, future Charles II, hiding in an oak tree after having been defeated in battle by Cromwell, who's trying to get back to England after his father's execution, but failed. Uh, there's a, an English potter, Mary Vondrush, who comes very close in, in skill and liveliness. And she did publish a book many years ago, didn't she? She did, yes. Mm, I have in fact, I... it's gone into a second edition. Right. This is taking rather a long time.
it will look less blobby when it's when it's fired finally. So could you just turn that round a little bit so we right way up for the camera? Fabulous. So easy. Thank you, Janet.